Right. The community of Rumford is recovering and healing tonight following that massive fire on Hancock Street. As more information comes out about it, more arms of support are wrapping around that area. 207's Beth McAvoy was there only a week ago where one of Maine's oldest diners sits just down the road from where those fires occurred. She's here now to tell us more about her story. Beth? Amanda and Rob, everyone at the diner is safe and their building is okay. I had initially headed there to check out this small tucked away diner that's been in operation for more than 90 years. The restaurant has not seen several owners through those years, but is now run by a pair of sisters. And as they say, they are the home of eggs and insults where you can enjoy friendly and colorful conversation. We hope this story helps lift the spirits of those in Rumford tonight. On any given morning in Rumford, which bustles in the shadow of the mill. Morning, Poppy. You can find a seat. Hello, Dukas. Good morning. At one of Maine's oldest diners. You are a good fit. I'm good fit. For the owners. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I end up by cooking more bacon than I needed. Sisters Jody Campbell and Julie Kiley. Oh, it's rainy today. Oh, beautiful. Breakfast is truly the Breakfast? most important meal of the day. I'm do a uh, omelet with a ham and green pepper. It's a fast-paced dance behind the counter. We're running out of room. Nope. You can take this one down. To feed the hungry customers sitting at the 16 stools. We first bought the diner, which was just over five years ago. I hadn't cooked. Jody works the grill every morning. And I could cook two meals. I couldn't talk to anybody. I broke the yolks, the horror. I said to Julie, I don't think this is going to work. My first day working here, I had a really good time. Julie waits on everyone. And I went home, and the first thing my husband said is, when are you going to buy it? And she says, no, you'll do fine, you'll do fine. And I just was not convinced. Three months later, my sister and I owned it. <laughs> Once you get the timing down, it's all cake and pie after that. Cake and pie and five meals at a time. No, we do not. Stop it. Jody still has time to spare <laughs> to spread her sass. You better watch yourself, old man. She, she has paddles in her hand. As for working every day within feet of your sibling. We have a little bit of squabbles every once in a while, but they're minor. My sister is very, very funny. She's my best friend. She has the biggest heart. We're very courteous to each other. Please, thank you. May I have more chopped ham, please? because it really makes a difference. The dining car was delivered to Rumford by rail. It's a 1928 Worcester diner car. The tiles, marble countertop, and German silver hood are all original. Settled here in spring of 29, and it has been here ever since. It's a, a hand-dug basement. Even the home fries are an original recipe. We just continued on the tradition of, of making them the exact same way. It's original. We don't want to change that at all. The sisters have, of course, added their own personal touches. The uh, door's been here since the diner's been here that I know of. How one approaches the door is a tell to the locals. The way we tell a newbie is when they try to push the door instead of sliding it. Mark Davis has been coming here for six decades. It's a cinema diner. That's what we like, you know? People come in for the food. That's enough, though. I'm just telling the truth, though. You gotta get away from the camera. <laughs> My buddy. Balanced with some healthy ribbing. You can't shake it, don't come in here. 81-year-old Don Dukas doesn't miss a day at the diner. Yes. Oh, they're very nice girls. I could say something else, but oh. <laughs> She's listening. Don has seen the diner pass through four owners, but these ladies go the extra mile. We have regulars that come in every day, or regulars that come in every other day, and when I don't see them for a week, we, we make the call. It's very serious, and we care about them. We, we love our customers. <laughs> the diner is a father-son tradition. We come every Friday. For Roger Vigor and his son Dalton. I think the food's good. It's fresh. A lot of laughing, joking around, teasing each other. And my boy gets to play. <laughs> These small towns in Maine, there's only three places of higher learning, right? The library, barbershop, and the diner. My library card expired years ago. As you can see, I don't frequent the barbershop. So if you want to learn anything, you have to come here. It's just it's the way it is. A landmark, if you can find it. No idea this place was even around here. Jody had lived in Rumford for five years before a friend revealed 
the tucked away spot. Happy for you, buddy. It's too pretty to eat. Thank you. A beautiful thing. You may have noticed a lot of men frequent this place. When I found out they were running it, I started coming here. But a diner run by women attracts other women. They always keep me laughing, which, you know, sometimes we need that. A lot of times we need that. <laughs> Old and young. Oh, mm. MG, look at that. There's sugar on your muffin. Oh, Male or female. It doesn't matter at one of Maine's oldest greasy spoons. <laughs> we're a greasy spoon, and we were pretty proud of that. It is part of history, and there have been a lot of asses in those seats, and we love that. A place where even if it's your first time. A real sense of community and friendship is really what it is, and it's been going on forever, and hopefully it will carry on a little bit longer too. It won't take long for everybody to know your name. And the Deluxe Diner is open Wednesday through Sunday. And let me tell you, it really does feel like the home of eggs and insults. And as far as helping those who are impacted by the fire, we have some more information on our website about how you can do that. Great story, Beth. Thank you. Thank you Beth. You're welcome.